Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. You are watching the TikTok go to the dance successful. So today, uh, mostly I can focusing on that. Uh, so don't think about that today. I can uh, talk about that uh, whole platform level topic. But today's topic is a bit different. So today, I want to uh, discuss with you uh, related to split between Salesforce and Viva. So most of you are familiar with what is happening uh, between Salesforce and Viva, but Uh, between Salesforce and Viva, but I want to share the timeline, right? Where uh, life science company and pharmaceutical is focusing on, and what are the current uh, tools um, that supporting the CRM platform, right? So with that, that note, uh, let's get started uh, with the key timelines and the uh, the news currently. Uh, Salesforce and Viva currently uh, you should learn, right? Or they are news in the market. So basically, uh, the announcement that Viva will end its last Salesforce partnership has uh, shaken things up for pharmaceutical companies relying on Viva CRM on the Salesforce platform. So with the formal split set for September 25, this shift gives companies a chance to rethink and strategize around their CRM solutions. It's all about making sure they stay efficient, compliant and tech savvy as they have they move forward, right? Now, uh, I can talk about the key timeline for transition. The transition is broken down into phases, each with specific milestone. <coughs> Sorry for that. From 2022 to 2023, Viva communicated the split and began planning. In 23 to 24, detailed transition plans are encouraged with companies evaluating current system and mapping future steps. Now, September 25 is the starting line of the separation with a five years transition period where company will wind down using Viva CRM on Salesforce and plan for their migration. By 2030, company should be fully moved onto their targeted platform because till 23, they have a partnership, but after 25, Viva will not uh, pay the subscription to Salesforce. After the transition, there will still work to do from 2030 onward. Company will need to continually fine tune their new system to meet changing needs, tackle their emerging challenges. Right now, uh, you should learn about the current CRM solution in market they have. Right, so Salesforce have their Hill Cloud, Salesforce uh, currently partnership with EQVIA, uh, Salesforce License Cloud, right? They have the powerful analytics and uh, better efficiency and customer engagement tools. Viva system, they are Viva Bold platforms, applications, and continuing to offer CRM solution, yeah. right? And the other key players, uh, company like Oracle Health Science, uh, SAP, right? Microsoft, Bioclinica. So these are the CRM related technology currently helping or enhance various function in life science. Now, the pharmaceutical company, uh, they need to be rethink where they will go. Thanks for watching this session. Stay tuned with my channel and keep supporting me, keep loves me uh, and I'll share the interesting story uh, related to Salesforce, Viva and mostly focusing on Viva and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. See you soon.